Hi everyone, thanks for visiting with Chetco Digital. In this video we're going to show you how to install your VDash software application and connect it to your sensor interface unit. We're also going to troubleshoot some of the most common connection problems. You can find us online at digitalmarinegages.com where we have a link to our support page and our question and answer form as well as additional downloads and all of our products and our blog and much more. So right now I'm showing the contents of the VDash install CD. It's probably going to ask you to auto run the install when you insert the CD and that's fine but right now I just want to show you that the USB drivers are located on your CD and you can also download these on our website on our support page. We have found that more often than not the USB drivers are needed in order to get your Windows PC to recognize your sensor interface unit. So if you open and, and don't run the install right away and just show the contents of the CD you can right click copy these USB drivers and put them in your My Documents folder, or you can download them online. So now you can either run the setup.exe, or you can eject and reinsert to auto run the VDash install. This is a Windows 7 thing. It's asking if VDash can make changes to my computer. You can hit yes. You probably won't get that in XP. It's going to boot up the VDash install and start running through it. This is a standard. PC installation, so I'm going to go through kind of quick. You can hit yes to the agreement. Uh, this correlates to the screen size. You can change this later on, so it's not a big issue, but if you have a G24 or you're running uh, NEMA 2000, you can set those options here. I'm going to just hit the G12C. And this one is very important. It's asking you where to put the VDash project folder. We do not want to put it in the recommended destination folder. So I'm going to hit browse, go to our C directory, to users, you may have more than one user on your computer. My primary user uh, is nwrite one. I only have one, so you're going to go to your primary user directory and that user's documents folder, and then you're going to hit OK. Should it create the file for you? Yes, directory is created. That's great. Do you want an icon on your desktop? Sure. So this is going to run through the VDash install. Now it's saying that it completed setup, that's great, we can hit finish and VDash is installed so now that we have VDash installed on our system we're gonna make sure that our PC properly recognizes the remote sensor interface unit as a USB COM port device. Now is the time to make sure that your unit is powered and connected to your PC with the supplied USB cable and then we're gonna select the start menu, right click on computer and select properties. In the top left we're going to now select device manager and we're going to look at these parent items when your PC properly recognizes your remote box <clears throat> it's going to list it under ports as a USB COM port as you can see and this ha happens very often it's recognizing it as an other device with the yellow explanation point so we need to now install the USB drivers so we don't have any connection problems going forward we're going to right click on the USB serial port and select update driver software and we're going to select browse my computer for driver software and browse again and now we're going to navigate to our my docs folder where we initially copied the USB driver directory however I don't see it listed here and I did this on purpose because depending on when you got your VDash installation CD or if you downloaded the USB drivers off our website they're going to come in a zip zipped compressed directory so I'm gonna hit cancel and navigate to my documents and I'm gonna right click and hit extract all it's gonna ask me where to extract it and right now it's extracting the USB drivers directory so as you can see there's now a new folder that is extracted it's not compressed anymore so we can go back to our update driver window hit browse again navigate back to my docs and now we have this USB drivers directory all you need to do is select the main directory which is the top folder of the USB drivers select it and hit OK so it knows to search within that folder then we're gonna hit next it's gonna locate and install the software and it's gonna say that Windows has successfully updated your driver software that's great so we're going to close. It's going to refresh the device manager and as you can see 
your sensor interface unit is now listed as a USB serial COM port under COM3. Now that we know our PC properly recognizes our sensor interface unit, we can double click on the V-Dash icon to run the software. The top left hand corner you will notice the status bar currently disconnected so we are not receiving any data right now and that's fine. In the, in the top of V-Dash towards the right you're going to see eight menu items. The bottom right hand menu item is the preferences panel. We're going to click to select preferences and you will see across the top there are eight different preferences tabs. Right now we're going to select connect and on the left you'll see the USB port connection settings in which we're going to tick the USB port enable and select discover USB devices to make sure that one device is listed here and, and this is showing that VDash recognizes one sensor interface unit connected to your PC. So that's good. We're going to hit the save icon and hit OK to save out of the preferences menu. We're back in the main VDash screen now. The top right hand button of the VDash menu is the connect tab. This is a toggle tab. We're going to click once to toggle the connection tab and as you can see we are showing digital gauges. In the status bar you can see that it says connected and there will be a runtime. So you have now properly connected VDash to your remote sensor interface unit. If you have any additional questions, please visit us online at digitalmarinegages.com. And on our website, you'll find our support forum, our complete shopping cart, our C blog, contact information, and much more. Thank you for watching, and thanks for choosing Chetco Digital.